Hey, what's up, man? It's your boy Zamagov here with another YouTube video on a Sunday morning. It's like 8.30, around 9 o'clock a.m. Uh, right now, I'm just walking to Giant Eagle to go wick shopping, but I uh, guess I want to do like a part one <coughs> to talk to you guys. Yeah, we're going to get milk and eggs and stuff. Like, I like milk. I should make a video doing that. But let's talk to you guys of pretty much how I got custody. You know, shout out to Eliza Howard. She was a follower, but she had to unfollow. Talking all this nonsense. Uh, you know, not even knowing, you know, the mother of my children. Uh, she'll never put them in harm's way or whatever. Uh, you as a father, she does this and that. Just like stupid stuff. I'm like, okay, I just laughed at her like... You know what I'm saying? One minute she was all for me commenting on my videos. Oh, beautiful children. Da, 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 da. And then, get over. On the side then, uh, once I mentioned, I guess, because I don't want the mother of my children's, um, what you call it, girlfriend <coughs> around my children, which is understandable in my eyes and many other females, too. You know, she said I have a problem with gay people or the courts is not going to allow that because I have a problem with gay people. I never said I had a problem with gay people. You know I'm saying and they do them, whether it's male or females, you know, they do them, you know. But like I said, once you're raising your children day in and day out, you're going, <coughs> you're going to want certain stuff for them. Try to raise them the right way, you know, with the church and stuff like that. Today... We we didn't go to church today because I didn't call the van to come take us, so. But, yeah, pretty much, um, it all started, uh, how should I start? It's like a lot of stuff that happened, but pretty much, we were both homeless. Uh, going, uh, I took her, you know, pretty much, she was staying with her mom, but, you know, I always had a place over my room, so once we, uh, our first child or was, I guess, being born, getting ready to born, she wanted to live with me, so <coughs> I was living with my grandma at the time and stuff like that. After my son was born, we tried moving in with her mom. That definitely didn't work out, you know. So I moved out, you know, her and my son was still there because her mother had other people staying there and stuff. So then eventually that didn't work out because he couldn't pay the bills because it was too much, you know. But, you know, the other people who were staying there, two other adults should have helped, you know, pay for it. So, but I'm not going to deal with all these women and stuff. Like, I don't got that to do. Especially how, you know, her mom could get. So that's another story. But, um... <clears throat> I moved out with my mom and um homes yeah I moved out with my mom I was staying there you know working and stuff <sighs> she was still you know going from house to house stay out the mud going from house to house to and then um I'm trying to think stay on the side uh I'm trying to think how it house to house and then eventually I talked to my mom get over about uh Get over here now, letting, on the side. I'm not playing with y'all, stay on the side. It don't matter, stay on the side. Stay on the side. Yeah, just, um, what was I gonna say? You're walking in the street. On the side, listen. Yeah, uh, I don't know, I guess, uh, my mom by time i guess by time oh yeah by time we lived with my mom you know we had our son and then uh my daughter was on her way being born because they're 14 months apart so yeah we already had like he was like one or two you know and then yeah our daughter was being born so you know two children plus my mother have you know like eight children so yeah you know a whole bunch of my brothers and sisters in the house also so things were going well, but pretty much what led to the events was that she couldn't control her attitude, get over in anger. I mean, like, it was pretty much, uh, get over y'all, walk down this way. It was pretty much her way or no way. Like when you're living with somebody, you gotta live by their rules, whether they're being petty or not. And you, know, gotta do what you gotta do. I mean, I had to put up with stuff, but I mean, it was a place for her. 
you know, and that's not what she was getting. So the attitude became an argument and then put it down, put it down, walk, stop y'all. Attitudes became an argument, me turning against, you know, my, my mom and stuff, we gave us a place to uh, stay, disrespecting her. You know, which out of, was out of my character and stuff like that. But she still, you know, I think when she finally kicked us out, I think, I don't know, I think she ended up finding a place to stay for now. And then I ended up coming back. But either way, she still let us back in after kicking us out. Like, she always let us back in, you know, on the strength of me. But at the end of the day, like, when it got too real, she gave me a chance. Y'all that chose to talk, uh... The mother of my children chose to take the uh, baby. The mother of my children chose to take the children, you know, up the street to her, whatever, bro's house or whatever, you know, up there while I was staying there. My mother never kicked the children out. She said, you know, the children can stay, but uh, she gave me, a, she gave me the talk. She gave me a chance to, I guess, let her come back, and she said, you know, this is the last straw. But if you think. You know, the mother of children is going to change. She could stay, too. So I went to go talk to her. She was still, you know, had that attitude, you know, yelling and trying to argue and stuff like that. I'm like, all right, well, I'm not going to do this. But, you know, the children could stay. So that led to that. Her, you know, keeping the children there. Um, she called CYF. Put your feet in. She called CYF on herself. Um, and, yeah, CYF. Yeah, uh got her into a hotel like they was paying for her to be in a hotel and stuff like that and um yeah so they were yeah they were paying for her to be in the hotel and then when it came time for her to take a shelter she denied it i think because she had my tarantula but i told her she should have uh you know took that shelter you know she would have been in a place she could have been at this position that i was in you know had a place for her children whether we was together or not or still been together i don't know only god knows but this is what led you know to us you know having now you know so don't you know i'm not bashing her or nothing but this is what happened and she could have been in this position you know taking that uh shelter place i get you don't want to be in the shelters but CYF usually don't do that, you know, paying weekly, like 200 some dollars a week, you know, for a family being in the hotel and stuff, so, yeah, but, um, that's just, you know, pretty much the first part, but, uh, I'm gonna leave it there, you know, I keep pausing, you know, trying to watch the, uh, streets and stuff, you know, Giant Eagles down there, where are we at, uh, just walking, yeah, you know, that's pretty much the first part. So, you know, my videos, you know, I never bashed her, you know, because I did love her, you know, at a point in time. So I have love. I can't say I still have love for her. I just want her to get herself together, you know, whether it's with the medicine or whatever, you know, the case is just get herself together, a job, work, and do something, you know, to help provide because she literally... Out of the three or four years I had custody, I only gave them, I probably bought them a couple of outfits each or whatever. Like, you know, I get it. You're not working, but you had a chance before we broke up. I had, you know, get back here. Hey, look, y'all. Look. <laughs> Don't go too far past that. Get up here. Stay right there. <laughs> Having fun. Walking. Yeah, but uh, before we had ended up, you know, breaking up, whatever, I had helped her get on her medicine and helped her get on her check, you know, so she would have, you know, money, and I never asked for any money because I was always working. Get up here. Get back up here now. Up here. Yeah, so, you know, I'm not this horrible dad who's don't let her see her children or talk down on her or anything like that, you know. If I don't do it in private, why well, do it, you know, on social media or whatever, YouTube now. Get up here. Stay up here now. So, yeah, you know, there's a lot, like I said, you know, that I dealt with and still, you know, trying to co-parent. So, like I said, stay right here. Up until recently, you know, I had to keep blocking her because I don't do the argumentative. Like, she wants what she wants. I'm like, you know, we're on schedules even though you do have the... Uh, even though you do have the visitation rights, but I'm not going to put my children in harm's way or predicaments to where, you know, you get all manic and 
want to argue and stuff like this like i don't got it to do and then like i said you stop seeing them for you're literally a year straight you know a year and a half year straight get over here because i would not allow her girlfriend to come to the visits i don't want that the visitations are for you to you know spend time with our children you know pretty much and that's what it is like you know so if you don't want that then that's on you not to come visit them like i told her keep telling her you know i'm not gonna stop taking care of them i got them a daycare i'm still on wick you know on everyday basis daycare monday through friday you know got my permit you know working on my driver's license and working on my gd like i'm doing my thing like you know i can't have nobody stop me like if you don't want to see them you know i'll keep trying to co-parent recently you know i had them facetime the children supposed to meet up to get the stuff friday today's sunday you know do her hair that never happened so i don't know i'm not going to ask you to you know if you don't hit me up i told you we just in the area so like i said there's a lot going on and i'm still trying to cope in what i always have i just don't get that argument stuff and then you know after the situation with her girlfriend trying to get out the street get the you know children illegally talking you know i put a pause so like i said the children our children is in great hands you know always in great hands you know i had a house for almost three years now over our heads see why i've been in there approved like i said you know get back here everything's you know good you know with the children so over here get back here now like I said, everything's, you know, good, you know, just wanted to talk about the stuff, you know, so you don't think, well, as she put it, or Eliza Howard, you know, I had uh, told her to unfollow me if she don't like what I said or whatever, because I don't bash her or say nothing, everybody knows what's going on, you know, but since you guys you know this is my subscribers my new family members you know thought i just put y'all in tune you know i cannot make this stuff up but i'm gonna do a part two right now i'm just walking trying to get to this giant eagle to get wick shop and get milk and eggs and stuff like that <laughs> but yeah uh i'm gonna end it here you know uh it was woods back there but you know i gotta uh, uh, uh. You know, I got to stay protected. You know, Smith & Wesson, SD40, V, you know me. Gun range definitely coming soon, though. Y'all wait probably around March or so, but I'm going to definitely be going to the gun range soon. But, yeah, get back here now. Get back here. Now. But, yeah, uh, it's starting to, you know, act a little bit up. You know, I get there happy, so I'm going to cut the camera off, and I'll get back here. Get back here. Settle down. And I'll see y'all, you know, later uh, for part two right now. Say bye, y'all. Bye. Say you, this is YouTube. Say That's see you. This is YouTube. YouTube. All right. Yeah, it's a little chillier. Yesterday was Yesterday was 70 degrees, and I was definitely colder and raining. So I just wanted to do a quick little video talk about what led to me getting, you know, custody, you know, and the real stuff. And I never bash her and why, you know, I chose to block her and why she chose to leave for these couple years you know like i said it wasn't because of me she wants what she wants and that's how she is but that's not how things are working you know i didn't choose this EYF did life did you know the lord chose this way and i'm gonna keep you know doing my thing to take care of them and keep a roof over our head but all right uh Bye. i'm out we're out wait this is new yeah yeah this is Get out, so see ya <laughs>